Hello and welcome again to another installment of DC 808 on the wire. I'm Shad Blair, but I'm not in Kaimuki. I am with Colleen Hanabusa, the congressman from Hawaii in her Nu'uanu home, and we thank you for allowing us into your house. Thank you for being here. So the announcement is out. You're running for senator. Tell us why you want to be the U.S. senator from Hawaii. When I made the final decision, I asked myself, how can I best serve Hawaii? The same questions I've asked at every juncture of my political career. And I believe that the best way to serve the people of Hawaii, especially now when we have lost our super seniority almost, is by taking the skill sets that I have and best utilizing it. And I believe the skill sets that I have are really in the legislative arena. And the Senate is one of the ultimate legislatures of the world. And it also gives me the opportunity to to do the work that I believe that can be effective for Hawaii, and I believe that I am the one who can best execute that. Senator Brian Schatz, your opponent, already has a lot of fundraising, already has a lot of endorsements. Did you start a little late, and are you playing catch-up now? No, I don't believe so. Uh, I believe that uh, this is Hawaii's opportunity to have a say in who will be their senator. And I believe that people have been waiting for the opportunity to do this vote. To Brian's credit, he did do the fundraising early, and he also, of course, sought out the endorsements early. But it's going to come down to the people. Well, Senator Schatz is already making a point of it that, as, as slim as it is, he does have an edge, even over Senator Maisie Hirono. You will be leaving the House, and where you'll be losing seniority there, does that hurt Hawaii by losing what you've built up in the House? Well, the best example of that is really Governor Abercrombie, right? Governor Abercrombie had 20 years in the House uh, on armed services, for example, and chose to leave. I think, like I said before, it is a matter of our skill sets and what we're able to achieve. Seniority in and of itself doesn't give you uh, some kind of magic key. Senator Inouye's passing uh, just this past December, a very traumatic event for Hawaii. It was his feeling that you should take his his seat and fill the end of his term and serve Hawaii in the Senate. Governor Abercrombie chose Brian Schaaf to take that job. Is that going to help you or hurt you on the campaign? Some have said respectfully that perhaps you feel a sense of entitlement to this job. No, I don't think it's any more of an entitlement than somebody who's appointed who may feel that they're entitled. It is going to come down to the, to the voters. For some, it may, of course, help me because they feel a certain way about the senator. Others, it may not, because they support Brian for whatever reasons that they support Brian. I would like to believe that when the voters look at us side by side, compare our records, because remember, our political age is identical. But when we entered the political arena, we were both on the same level. And people will be able to determine then what are the skill sets that we, de we develop and what we we're able to accomplish. And I think the voters are then going to make the decision that I'm better able to serve Hawaii. You mentioned in your opening statement, the statement that you released when you announced your candidacy, that this is not about personalities. But as you know, voters often look at people and compare them in all sorts of different factors. Uh, you are uh, 22 years older than Brian. You'll be 62 on Saturday. An early happy birthday Thank to you. Thank you very much. Um, and some have brought up the fact that, that he's white, that you're Asian American, and then there's the gender, female and male. Do you think, think these factors are going to somehow play a role in this race? I think Hawaii is very unique in that uh, we are all minorities in Hawaii. So I'm not sure as to how they think that particular issue is going to play. For some it will matter, for others it will not. I do know, and I'm just sharing this with you because I happened to be at an event last night where a woman uh, came up to me and she was upset that, they would, that the issue of age and gender would be important. Mm. And she was upset because she, she told me you should make it very clear. Women have had a harder road. Women have had to fight, and women have, we still don't have equal pay, right? So she said, of course, we may not be in the places people think we should be at a certain age because we've had to fight to get there. But the other side of that is exactly the opposite, that women may feel like, well, what is this? You know, if we have an opportunity to vote someone in that we believe is qualified, maybe more qualified, why shouldn't we be able to do that? And why is age a factor? When, when you really come down to it, it doesn't, 
It doesn't say that because someone is younger that they're going to stay longer. So I think that those are going to be relevant to some voters. But I think most voters are going to look at us and ask the one question, which is who best serves Hawaii? Senator Noy was known for making sure that the delegation worked closely together and, and did so for many years, often announcing things at the same time, uh, sharing a lot of their ideas and cooperation. With you now running against a fellow member of the delegation, will that hurt Hawaii, if you will, not having the team all on one page? When it comes to what's in Hawaii's best interest, everyone will pull together. And, and, you know, and we've had people who have kind of run against each other along the way. That's the nature of the Democratic Party, though. We provide the people of the state of Hawaii with choices. We always have. I don't remember any major election that wasn't contested in a primary <laughs> because Democratic Party, the strength of the party is the fact that it has a big tent, mm -hmm. which means it has little pup tents in it. <laughs> and the pup tents may not necessarily agree, but it is the fact that we are able to come together after a primary election for the betterment of the, of the state and the parties. Will you resign your seat to focus full time on the Senate run? No, I will not. I will not. I have an obligation in my mind to serve out my term for the people of the first congressional district that were had kind enough as well as had faith in me to serve them for this term and I will do that. You thought about running against Neil Abercrombie for governor next year. Can you tell me what you think of his first term in office, how he did? Everyone has an opinion about how he did. I think that the polls reflect that he had a very difficult time. Uh, I know when I'm serving in the Senate that sometimes that's not necessarily uh, a creation of the person. It may be the creation of the times. But again, the people will let him know mm -hmm. how they feel he did. Colleen Hanabusa, Congressman from Hawaii, Congresswoman from Hawaii, thank you so much for participating today and helping us understand your campaign a little bit better. Thank you very much. And for DC 808 on the wire, I'm Chad Blair in New Uanu this time saying a hui ho and we'll see you next time. Take care and aloha.